Hey right guys, Trey from Much is Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 2 of Black Mirror Season 6. I watched episode 1 around an hour ago, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, thought it was, I thought it was a really good episode. Uh, I wouldn't put it up there as like one of the best episodes that Black Mirror has kind of done, but I would say it was better than anything they did in season 5, and then probably like a few other episodes in some seasons before that. I thought it was a really good episode, one of the more funny episodes that Black Mirror has done, which I was surprised by, because usually I feel like each season starts with... I guess, I guess a balance. They kind of have, like, the pilot episodes of each one, I guess, apart from maybe season one, <laughs> is kind of balanced with uh, accessible for everyone, and then they kind of get into the weeds a bit more as the season goes on. But, yeah, we'll, we'll see, I guess. But episode two, guys, this one's called... What is this one called? Um, Loach? 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 Henry? Something like that. So, whatever that's about. Episode two, guys, if you enjoy, do make sure to leave a like if you're new. Remember to subscribe as we'll be, we'll be getting these reactions out uh, over the next couple of days. We'll have them all out, I reckon, because there's only five episodes, so not too long. And our next show will be The Witcher Season 3, which comes out at the end of the month. So keep a lookout for that as well. But for now, let's do this. Hell yeah, look at this. God, if I need to see Lord of the Rings. New Zealand is Lord of the Rings. We can all agree on that, yeah? Pia, Mum, Mum, Pia. Nice to meet you. You too. Janet. Pretty wee thing you've captured. She's a good actress, I can already tell. <laughs> the mum. I like your accent. <gasps> Ditto. Mm. What was that, love? Ditto. Uh, Ditto. Oh! Of course, yes, yes, yes. Egg theft is illegal, but the local cops aren't interested or they're too lazy i mean <laughs> maybe if someone who looked like me were stealing the eggs they're probably just overstretched policing's a very demanding job oh yeah i was gonna say she's not gonna take that kindly her husband was a cop <laughs> i saw that photo of him in uniform and 20 minutes later i'm shit mouthing the cops like <sighs> yeah mm. she hates me um I don't know, we'll see. Seriously, are you hard right now? Um, after that conversation? I am. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Talking about your dead dad, I guess, or do that. <gasps> no tape! Boo! What are you going to film with it? Here, watch. So there's no tape. Oh, right, 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 okay, cool. Oh no, the poor mum. God, you just would keep your noise down. You just... <laughs> uh, whatever, do your thing, I guess. I bet the mum's going to murder them both at the end. No sex in my ass. Oh, you are going to get no signal in Scotland, so good luck. The, the guy you played, Bergerac, uh, she used to say I had a nice bum. I do not want to think mm. about your mum getting wet over some dude's butt. Well, she, he didn't quite say that. Oh my God. <laughs> You've slagged off her husband. You've had sex in her house on the first night where she can hear. And now you've said, oh, your mum, I don't want to think about your mum getting wet while she's right behind you. You just, this is not a good track record so far. All in the space of like five minutes. It's okay. It's not okay. I mean, this place is amazing. I can't believe it's so empty. We're the only ones here. It's weird. Hmm. So when you try and escape from his mum, keep that in mind. Wow. Davis McCardle. I told you never to show your face in here again. He's gonna hug him. You can walk right back out that door. No! Hello, Stuart. Stuart. <laughs> is that a uh, Podrick from <laughs> Game of Thrones? What the fuck is with that hair, eh? You gonna tell me your pronouns? I just let it go a bit. <laughs> I thought you were in London. <laughs> so that hair, the most tame hair ever. See, he's not even introducing you to me now. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is Pia. She was this on my film course. Podrick? Oh, oh, your course, was it? No. Oh, he thinks they're going to name it after him someday. Well, I thought they were going to name it after me, so... <laughs> yes, well, that would be the smart move, eh? What with fucking diversity and all that. Okay. <laughs> for God's <laughs> sake. Oh, no, no charge. Yeah. I keep telling Dad, if things don't pick up, We'll just have to bite the bullet and jack it fucking in. I don't think it's going to pick up. I can probably tell you that. Speaking of cunt. <laughs> you didn't tell her about Ian Adair? Come on. It's, it's, it's a bit... Who is Ian Adair? 
No, I got no. Ian Adair was a guy. He lived up at Five Acres Farm on the hill there with his mum and dad. Uh, people said he was quiet, mm -hmm. easily led, mm -hmm. not too bright, all of that, you know. But really, he was just some local guy. Anyway, turned out he tortured and killed people. Oh, okay, we'll just speed, speed around that story. I've got your storytelling instincts. You, you tell it. No, you spoke it now. No, not the end bit with your dad. What end bit with your dad? <laughs> Can I just start from the beginning? Oh, did he kill his dad? Just you pretend you don't know the murder stuff yet. Sure. Okay. <laughs> that, that little detail, just move on from that. Oh, we're going to actually... Oh, There used to be loads of makers here. That's cool. Loads of them. Is this real? That could be real footage. Like, as in... From, from back in the day. <laughs> they were here for about a week. No, nah, maybe loads not. Lots of people saw them. Dad said they drank in here a couple of nights. The cleaner comes to get their cottage ready for the next booking. The car's parked outside. Oh. And all this stuff's still there. Oh. A murder mystery. Well. Creepy. Very creepy. So, of course, Dad gets called in. His dad was a local policeman. I'm exactly. invested. After a day or two, it becomes a big story. Mm. Tabloids pick it up. Places okay, this is an agile forage, forage, but I love how they film this. There's no sign of them. Nothing. Until. Then Princess Diana died. Oh, yeah. Else. Papers moved on to that story fizzles out. Finished. Ian Adair's drinking in here. In here? Oh, I drank in here all the time. Always sat right there. Oh. <laughs> and your dad? Yeah, a little pissed. He tells Ian he's barred. Ian tells him to fuck off. He says he's got half a mind to come back and shoot the place up. Oh, okay. Go and check in on Ian. You know, have a word with him. So then dad. That's his dad, Kenneth. Yeah, of course it's my dad. <laughs> Keith boy then. Hell yeah. Rolling up. Ian doesn't answer. That's this is shot right, it's directed really well. When Ian opens the upstairs window. Oh. Shoots him. Sorry, he shot your dad? Yeah. Okay. Not fatally, in the shoulder. Bad though. Holy shit. Inside the house. Jesus. And nothing. Ian Adair shot his mum and dad, then himself. Total wipeout. Right. What's that have to do with the missing oh, couple there? Mm. Oh, I want some crisps now. They sound crunchy. Cellar. All oh, right. Okay. This is. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> if there's a cellar. There we go. Show me. And inside, it's like a torture room. <laughs> Was that dildos or though? Keeping them down there and doing god knows what to them for weeks at a time. And then burying the bodies out in the fields there. Jesus. The honeymoon couple. Fuck me and the rest of them. The rest? How many in total? Sometimes people went missing. Walker takes What? Look at that. That's mad. A kayak and doesn't come back. The landscape for this. Over the years, nobody was really totting it all up. So. <laughs> yeah, that was Ian Adair. Well, there you go. That is a lot. Mm -hmm. I was done, re done really well. <laughs> End result. Fuck all visitors. He didn't just shit in his victim's mouth. He's he shat that. in the tourist trade too. Should do a documentary about that now. Another pint. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Like that. Three pints. <laughs> These are all good actors. Can we go see where it happened? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Let's roll up. We'll board it off. That's perfect. Do you documentary about this? Is it so much better? You don't see it? See what? Can we get in there? No. It's boarded up. There's there, there's planks. Why would we Oh well if there's planks then This is what our film should be about. There you go. It's an actual story. Are you serious? Well yeah. But we're meeting the egg guy on Wednesday. Well, guy, yeah, I'm, I'm with her on, on this. Come on. You said you like the egg idea. Do both. <laughs> I kind of liked it. Just do the Just egg like I kind of like playing years. pasta in a pinch, but I love this. I love it. I had a meeting with Kate Cesar at Historic. I think she might go for this. People already know the story. I didn't. I mean, it's not who done it. There's no mystery. Are you nuts? You can say about any crime documentary ever. 
it'll be a, a solid piece, well made, high end, and it's exploring the biggest topic. And your dad was involved, so you, you got that personal rope to it. Well, then, what do you want to make? A meditation on the Eggman of rum that will maybe play at a festival and maybe oh. be admired by a couple dozen documentary nerds, or something that people will watch. Yeah, crime, crime sells. <laughs> Look at Netflix. If you don't want to make it, I will. Oh. <laughs> Pulled that card out. He was a victim, too. You said that he's been forgotten in all of this. Mm, she's making good points, but I can see why he doesn't want to as well. So good, thank you. Did you not like the dolphin was? <gasps> the dolphin uh, was? Just try to limit my carbs. She hates her, oh my god. It's a brilliant idea. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. He's a bastard as well. Back. And that. What was the name of that Netflix thing? About the guy that killed women? Maybe narrow that down. Yeah. <laughs> he ate her own eye in front of her. The, oh, the I don't Walton know that one. Claw. So half the Is that real? was just amazing constant footage of Waltonville forests and, and mountains fucking waterfalls looked like a brochure yeah and it's a good landscape I'm I'm seeing it I can picture it now cunts get a load of this place in our 4k fucking flat screens and they will be crawling all over us like flies on dog shit but with money <laughs> the important part I've even got a drone you can use Open and shot. Moody piano chord. I mm. love it. Of course you got a drone. Of course you're a cunt about it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey. This is my mum's curiosity box. She was fucking obsessed with the whole thing. Obsessed. You should be filming this. Getting his initial reactions. Man, he looks creepy. I suppose it's not every day one of your regulars turns out to be Vlad the fucking impaler, is it? She was bound to want a souvenir. Will she mind if we borrow it? Or she won't give a fuck, she's been dead for four years. Okay, well. <laughs> uh. It's got a tape in it. It's gonna be like your mum's porno or something. Okay, no, mm. definitely not. Of course. <laughs> oh, is that, um. That's cop show. Locals are mystified. That all seems quite odd. And that's Stuart's dad. Everybody's worried. Oh, it's him. I didn't realise it was him. So... <laughs> there we go. Get them landscape shots. Got to think, like, in Lord of the Rings times, you'd have to get a full-on helicopter <laughs> to get all these shots. Oh, these are in Premier. Hell yeah. <laughs> The editing on this episode, good. Oh, I'm so satisfied I'm watching them edit. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, is that the Waldo? That's the Waldo sticker on the laptop. <laughs> I, I bet there's so many like little Easter eggs to other episodes I'm missing. So there's Bandersnatch last step, and then that was a Waldo sticker. Oh, look at it. I want to go. <laughs> uh, can we just go back to the part where you... Uh, I think he's faked falling down the stairs. Parasite, you fucking insect. Oh, okay. I dig it. It's done. I just think that fucking happened and you're here fucking pulling it all up and for what? Eh? For what? You want a fucking award? A oh, yeah, yeah. What's your fucking problem? <sighs> <laughs> you can't think you can say that. Oh, the shining okay? carpet sticker as well. <laughs> this one's my favourite character. <laughs> Just thinking, if you're staying on for a few days, I could do my shepherd's pie. But yes, here, do the shepherd's I'm not pie. Sure if you eat meat, I do meat. Anything else, Mum? No, no. I can see you're very busy. That's Stuart. Richard's boy. Oh, does she not know that they're doing this? Aye. What is it you're working on? Well, um, small little change in plan. Oh, God, she's going to freak her. Doing a documentary about what 
happened. Uh, Ian Adair and all that. Not about your man and the eggs. <laughs> uh, no. You'll explain what he did to your father. Only if you want us to. Oh, I want you to. Oh, okay. That's not how I thought it would have gone. If Ian Adair was still alive, I'd wring his neck myself. With these hands, I would. <laughs> Should we get this on camera? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Damn. I don't know who she is. She's a good actress, though. I mean, everyone's good in this episode so far. I know I've said that like three times, but... If there's anything you want me to help with, just ask. Hell yeah, she's on board. Clap. Okay, straight away getting her interview. <laughs> Hey, you got to do the clap. Clap severs. It's been years since I was in front of any kind of camera at all. Last time would have been that old one your dad had. <laughs> but your dad never had all this stuff. I know. Quite advanced <laughs> since back in the day. But he's not as well known as a Ted Bundy or a Fred West. So, cool. if we take this anywhere... I don't think that matters, though. His dad was one of the victims. I... Yeah, he w he was a policeman. Kind of. The farm. Not one of the eight, though. So he was murdered? He died later. Of his injuries? Or... No. Not directly, <laughs> but, 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 but basically, yeah. But he was. He was involved, though, so it's still a personal connection. What about the house itself? And the dungeon? It's still there. And you have access to that? Yes. Mm. Absolutely. Just break in, yeah. <laughs> Plus, old tech, cool, analog, horror, atmosphere. Proper Blair Witch. <laughs> Proper Blair Witch. <laughs> I love this little group. This little trio. I'll put the crowbar on whisper mode. <laughs> <sighs> uh, and does it matter? Have you seen where you are? I'll put the crowbar on whisper mode. We're taping over Bergerac. <laughs> Mum won't notice. Mm, I don't know, you know. I found the door to fucking hell. Oh, was that the door? Yeah, that was pretty depressing. Get a light up. Uh, what's that for? Shows up on the black light, like piss and blood and spunk. Okay, and... okay, ah. okay. Just drip a wee bit down here. You know, like a day of jizz twelve slitting someone's throat. Okay, so they're just faking it basically. Oh, well, there you are. I wonder if any documentaries have done that. Just f definitely. Oh, there's more. Th there's more than enough. I won't worry about the lemon juice. Why are they not filming this? Like all their reactions to it. Don't think we need the lemon juice. No, I don't. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This app's brilliant so far. In the dungeon, you'll suffer sex atrocities. In the dungeon, he'll have you weeping on your knees. In the, in the dungeon. dungeon, that works. Yeah. He'll tie your hands behind your back. In They're the about dungeon. to crash or something. <laughs> and glue some tannins to your car. Tannins to someone's cock is not a plausible king. Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. For what? Oh, we're good, we're good, okay. Fed not looking where I was going. You weren't driving, were you? She knows her stuff. Look at her, she's a doctor. <laughs> good point. <laughs> Throw that curtain round and tug yourself into a coma, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, good. I don't think he's impressed. Right, sparkling conversation is always dad. <laughs> get well soon, eh? I'll put that shepherd's pie on. Just Hell for yeah. It's fine, I have stuff to digitize. I can just. You need to eat, dear. This is where she gets murdered by the mom. I'm gonna put my socks on. I'm, this Scotland's make me feel chilly. Oh, she's got the knife out. <laughs> oh, is she gonna see something? Something's about to happen. Like, they keep focusing on her using all her kitchen tools. She's got a great. Uh, could be like a twist, like the mum was the actual one who was the murderer. <laughs> he has something to do with it as well. They keep focusing on him a lot more than I thought they would, to be fair. What is going on? Was he going to the sun? Yeah. Mr. Kane? He's gonna kill him. <laughs> I'm just like, I was gonna die. They did say something about couples. These two are a couple, so. Sorry. Uh, what do you want? It was me. Don't have any proof. They keep showing the mum cooking, why? Of what? I think I've always known. Known. 
known what? Now your mum killed your dad. Great, alright, that should do it. Oh, it's done so well, like, just knowing that, that you know there's something. Oh, the mum's gonna have taped something. Here we go. And... Oh! Okay. To think they almost taped over this. It's the oh, it's gonna be them to it, isn't it? The the old is. I've never seen the making of a oh wow. I've never seen the making of a shepherd's pie so like threatening. Oh, it's the dad. Is that the cop? Oh, Jesus. Oh, they're the couple who went missing. Jesus. What does the mum have to do with it, though? She probably, like, knew or something. Come on in, Janet. Yep. Janet. What the hell, bro? <laughs> Jesus, like, hostile. Well, not quite. I don't remember this scene in hostile, but... <laughs> Mad. Ready. Thanks, Janet. <laughs> Don't imagine seeing that. <laughs> oh, God. God, Black Mirror rarely jumps into, like, the horror theme, but when it does... What now? What now? What, what? Oh, okay. Ken gave me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had such fun together. I can imagine. <laughs> Just run, like, she's old. She ain't gonna catch up. Everything all right? Yes. Into the bathroom. Don't go in the bathroom. Have you seen Eden Lake? Just don't go. Okay. That's the last thing you should have done. You have no signal here. You know this. <laughs> you know this. Why would you lock yourself in the bathroom? <laughs> it's going to be the door, isn't she? Ooh. Are you sure? Oh, okay. I thought she was going to have like, that mask on or something. <laughs> Cooped up. A little walk. Clear my head. Yeah, get gone. <laughs> this is mental. Oh no. Yeah. The realization. Also, all those tapes I've just realized. Oh god, I just realized how many tapes there were at the start. What are you doing? Just go anywhere but the main road. Oh, God. <laughs> and you're done. You're dead. It's done. Rip. She's on wheels. You ain't gonna outrun her now. Get in the car. Yep. She's gonna run her over. Just dive to the left. Like, she can't be driving through that tall grass, I guess. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, she's at least gone over the wall. Oh, didn't the guy say there's lots of, like, accidents that happen out? Like, the water, he said, he mentioned all that. Now this is a documentary. Oh, yep, that's what they were talking about. That happened so quick. That just was, like, one second done. God, God, she's a bit unhinged. Fuck! Oh, she's such a good actress. I don't even know who this is. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing she died. She, like, broke her neck when she fell. And if not, if, even if she's knocked out, she's in water, so she'd drown. What's in the box, man? <laughs> What's in the box? Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. God, you didn't keep that very hidden, did you? God, the polar was Jesus. Ah, oh, she's reminiscing of the good old times. Oh, the tapes! <laughs> Look how many there are. Four. She's gonna kill herself, isn't she? My computer's just... The internet's just gone out. Oh, no, the power's just gone out. No! Oh. 
Why would the power... God hates me. I think God actually hates me. Oh, God. <laughs> the arse, bro. Why would it do that there? I bet my audio didn't save either. Oh, wow. Audacity. What an app. It saved my audio. <laughs> I was so worried. I was like, you're going to have a terrible audio for the whole of this episode. But Audacity have the audacity to save it for me. Four. What was she going to... Like I was saying, I think she's going to kill us all. Just giving this to her son. Nice, nice parting gift, I guess. Yeah. Oh, God. Ah, she put the mask on. <laughs> this is mad. Nah, well, I don't know why I'm like. <laughs> Never face justice. Ooh. Damn. I thought, I thought for a second I might have just stopped again, but it was just going to black. Long ago in a, is this a documentary? No. Yeah, it's a Streamberry documentary, yes. Of course. Streamberry is like a, oh, a thing then. They tried to tell a story. This is gonna be the documentary of the year. But the truth they found was too close to home. Oh, yeah. Since I was in front of any kind of camera at all. <laughs> this is the trailer for it. I mean, you kind of spoiled the twist of the documentary in the trailer. The way they behaved that night, the whole experience. I was. Think that maybe Ina Dear hadn't acted alone. This is why he so uh, switched off. announced yet. shocking new discoveries. Local officer Kenneth McCardle and his wife Janet. McCardle shot the. You spoiled the whole twist of it. Himself to cover up his role in the slaughter. To be fair, every trailer does that, so that makes sense. The secret of her and her husband's part in the crimes killed herself after leaving recordings of the murders where her son would find them. <laughs> Jesus. But your dad never had all this stuff. He wasn't coming for broadcast. Can you imagine? Oh my god. <laughs> Looking back at that. Truth will out. Suffer the children, the tickly pedophile ring. Lock Henry, truth will out. Yeah! Uh. Inside Project Junipero. And <laughs> Junipero. <laughs> nice. Lock Henry. Yeah, obviously. How can that not win? Like. Look, only people are in the pub now. I'd like to dedicate this award to Davis McArdle. Who? And to his late girlfriend, Pia. Oh, is that him? So she did die then. And that comedy about the bipolar single mum who fucking cries all the time. <laughs> a joke, love. Yeah, hello. She's coming over. Can I just say, I love Right. And your show was sublime. Oh, oh it's you. uh. Oh, oh, I'm not Henry guy. <laughs> what do you get? Some champagne. Well done, mate. It's a red carpet for you, eh? We've been booked up for weeks, pal. Listen how packed it is. Oh, they're wearing the masks and stuff. God, he found out his mum and dad were serial killers. His girlfriend died. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, probably not been the best time for him. What, for your film, mum. Oh, jeez. Yeah, thanks, mum. <laughs> just a creepy award looking at you. He's a good actor. I don't know who this guy is as well. I've not seen him in anything, but... It's good. Yeah, that was brilliant. That was absolutely brilliant. That was one of my favourite Black Mirror episodes that they've done. Um, which is saying a lot. I won't put it up there as like the top three or anything, but uh, that's the best episode we've had in a long time from Black Mirror. Let me check. Obviously, better than anything from Season 5. Season 4, um, USS Callister was a banger, to be fair. I'd say this was the best episode. Oh, Black Museum was really good as well. Uh, but... Yeah, this was this is better than Metalhead. This is better than Crocodile. This is better than Archangel. I'd say better than Hang the DJ. Hang the DJ was really cool, but uh, USS Callister was a banger. So, yeah, it's up there. I once oh, that was amazing. 
that kept you invested all throughout. All the actors were amazing. Uh, I like that. The more it went on, the more you were like, something else is going on here. Um, and it being involved with the mom, the mom being involved, I think was like, you knew she knew something as it went on. Like, especially when she was making that shepherd's pie, it was like, uh, <laughs> something's happening here. And then it turned out that it was her and the his the guy's dad that were basically doing the murders. So uh, that's, and more like manipulating the, I forgot the name of the guy that they blamed it all on, but kind of getting him involved. So, yeah, good little twist there that worked. Uh, again, the actress who played the mom, I thought she was amazing. I'm not sure. I've not seen her in anything, but she was brilliant. And the two other actors as well were really, really strong. So, And then the environment and the landscape of it all. And, like, the little references they'd make throughout the app, like, oh, yeah, people could just, like, slip in the waters and, and die and... Uh, that happening later on so a lot of foreshadowing with this episode as well okay so the the mum's name is monica dolan i want to say uh she's done quite a lot of things i've i'm not seen it. it's like it seems like a lot of british dramas and stuff like that um so yeah she was she was absolutely brilliant and the actor samuel blankin it says his name is also oh, he's in the sandman for one episode dracula for one at the french dispatch Atlanta. So he's been in a few things here and there, but I'm assuming this is his first like big like I'm the main character <laughs> of something which is which is really cool. So um yeah, I thought he was great. I'm gonna go a nine out of ten for this episode. Uh they've got the rest of the season as a big bar after that one. I thought the first episode was very good, but I thought this was absolutely brilliant. Uh, I was invested all the way throughout and it actually managed to smash like the creepy vibe that they had going throughout it. So and funny as well. I had some good funny moments with uh Podrick character i'm not sure what his name was but that was good as well so yeah very good episode thank you for watching guys let me know what you thought of this episode down below in the comments and i'm going to jump into ep three hopefully the power doesn't cut out this time so i'll see you next time to then until until episode three take care peace